All right, another animation analysis, and this time I'm taking a look at Love, Death, and Robots Volume 2. And right off the bat, we're seeing here Volume 3 also announced for 2022. Let me scrub back and go to the very beginning here. We're starting off right off the bat with humans. Going for a more photo real look. I've seen this actually only once on my phone. So this is actually nice for me to see on the big screen. But the moment you look at this here, anybody who has to animate a bit more realistic human, you know that you're going to have so many shapes around everything. Just the way the muscles flow, but also detail on the eyes. Interesting. Let's we'll start with that. It's a slight stylized look still and i'm not going to have the sound on but there is going to be dialogue as it starts here of course i'm always a big fan of hands and fingers you can see a bit of a offset fanning each finger here being different of course i'm going to have my critical hat on slightly soft there. i'm curious you never know with these it's a dream sequence what is real what is not is this a robot or not You can see here all the shapes. This goes all the way down to here. This would be awesome to see in a wireframe on shaded mode. You can see all the little details. All that skin is stretching. Even on that link, you can see shapes there. I love to look at all that detail. I mean, if you watch my channels and you look at these, this is just heaven if you can go frame by frame. Look at interaction, because then you have to look at intersections. There's a nice squeeze there on the fingers. It's a nice squeeze there on the fingers as they go in. It's such a pain to animate. Whoever does this, I feel for you, even all of this here. Then you got your breathing. And then we go into crazy detail. You can also see this here. Going in. Now we can see this almost better to look at in real time because all those tiny details you have to really look at all the you can see the little twitches in the eyes dilation you can see all the little tiny moves in the lids crazy Tom so much work Ooh. let me see this in detail reminds me of the matrix some strong matrix vibes there Lots of stuff there. Now we're switching to a different style. You can see here different characters. This is a different episode. This was really cool though. Look at that. I love this here. That is neat. Love all this. It's always cool to see like tiny little things moving. You know, having your stuff like this. You got the little drops and details. That gives you a sense of scale. You understand how big this is because of the smaller movements. That's cool. That's a cool shot. Come on. That's great. The color silhouette there characters down here everybody in a different pose that is oh i didn't even see that before look at that there is a massive one behind there oh we cut out that's cool this one's interesting too this felt slightly stuttery to some degree as if it's slightly going for a stop motion look i'm curious if this is all cg or not you can see as you frame through that's interesting, a little stop and go. So who knows if that's a specific way of rendering because that is fairly smooth. But then again, there's some crazy town stop motion going on nowadays in terms of smoothness. Cool shot though, <laughs> going through there. It's a bit of a Zemeckis vibe, <laughs> almost. Ooh, toys. <laughs> just because yesterday I was watching a, a trailer for the Nintendo versus Sega documentary. That just reminds me of kids unboxing their Nintendo. Let me see this again. Yeah, I'm very curious. Because the thing is, if you open this, well, it's fairly heavy. We're going to a big set here. You have some arm movement going this way, which technically would move the head and the chest a bit. But if you'd be a bit more photoreal, you would have also residual movement and ambient movement in the legs. But look at the hair. Look at the little pops in the hair. You see that? That's what gives me that stop motion vibe where you got the imperfections in hair. And that would also make sense to have that slightly more locked than in CG. I don't know. That to me is all interesting. You see how there's not quite solid contact on that hand. It's ever so slightly poppy and sliding. These are to me all like little stop motion cues. It's interesting. 
very curious. Different designs as well, like character designs, and very curious how that is going to work out. Ooh, that gives me a strong Blade Runner vibe. Oh, you can't hear it, but even the music kicking in. That's cool. Not huge in terms of animation, but I love the look of this. That's cool. That is cool. Uh, we are back. Back to the first character here. Anybody doing animation? You got your grouping of fingers. You know, I always have to look at this. You got your triangle. Look at that, especially at the end. It's cool though. This could be a slight Star Wars. Star Wars Last Jedi uh, Casino area. This has uh, Phantom Menace vibes to me. It's basically the trailer of vibes, but it's cool. I like it. That is cool too. Neat. Ooh. Oh, always a fan of this. Yes. Why? Because it's rarely, when you have rigs, they're rarely there, like free rigs. Like, I think there's one rig that I reviewed recently that had that. You just you don't have that that often. And it's always neat when there's just a bit more involvement in this, getting to the the Cardassian uh, neck shapes if you go crazy, like Hulk style. It's cool though, you can see detail, all that stuff. Just, I just feel the pain in animating this. Got the squishiness here, tip and the corners, nostrils there, it's neat. It's probably one of those uh, nightmare shots. All right, we're gonna have a kid. <laughs> Let's go for a bit more realistic look and close up. Let's go. Let's see how those renders hold up. It's neat though. Got the little, this little oiliness is nice. Wetness on the eyes. So picky. Looking at if whenever you have like, um, pupils, not pupils, uh, just eyeballs moving, darting around. You want some fleshiness in here. So that eyeball continues. So if the eyeball is moving, it's going to push that side of the skin as well. Lots of detail. That is cool. That's cool. I like this. Lots of epic imagery. That is really neat. I love this. Not huge. Again, this is there's so many separate shots and short shots. It's tricky to go into animation principles and lots of things. But that, for instance, is a cool walk. Good weight. Cloth sim is awesome. I love this. This is a crazy detail too. Look at all that. Stubbing is there. Under. Let me see. That is fairly sharp. This is my critical hat again. That eye dart, uh, the that um, blink. Let's see, look at that. You gotta dial all that stuff in. I highly doubt that if you just dial in that blink, that all of that comes in automatically. But who knows? I will be very curious to know. I'll go through that. If you go frame by frame, as I'm doing now, you can see all of the pulling of the skin. So much detail. You can see a little movement here. Little hairs. Crazy town. And I'm sure there's going to be lots of people, yeah, why? Why make it so real? I know, but I like it. I like seeing fully cartoony stuff, super stylized, but also just trying to go photo real. Like, how far can we go? When does it break apart? When is it the Uncanny Valley? Like, that's a cool shot. Now over this here. Composition, the light. Just enough little eye darts there. I don't know, that's cool to me. I like it. It's a nice reflection there. A little to be live action you would have that whatever it's a window reflection a little wetness here i know that's i just i like that stuff i like analyzing seeing how far they went and this feels a bit more on twos with a different style there look at that that's cool that reminds me of season one kind of the the painterly look if you look at all that stuff here that just kind of with, with harsher designs and shapes the anthology returns and then, after the seriousness, we see poop. Now, actually, when I saw this on the phone, just because, actually, I just took my dog out. Like, I'm, this should have been like a little wetness. I know this is like my super critical eye complaining, backseat complaining. Well, that robot is just really, really clean. Would have been kind of neat, though. Just a little bit of residual stuff there, no? Look at this. It's cool. Look at that. Look at just these little things here when you play. And oh, just a little slight movement. I love that. It's cute though. Little dog is cute. <laughs> it's interesting. That's cool. I like that too. So 
own feet coming up. That gives you the freedom of, oh, like the little drag and rotation there. This has nothing to do with it, just tell her, but and we just locky legs. Again, it's the trailer of vibes. Clearly, we have one missing here. <laughs> oh, sim people hat. A nice day there. Look at that. That's super weird. Let's go back to this. Just want to see all the details here. Whoa, that is a nightmare for animators. Why? <laughs> it's because you might be animating this. You might even be driving some of that stuff so you can drive the sim. All right, so you have all the details and then you see the render and you see smoke, debris. You can't see anything of the original animation at this point. It's just noise. I love it. That's a classic, classic shop. That is some crazy detail. Some interesting textures there. Massive foot. Is that foot moving? Let me see. Hmm. And now we're getting into more short shot details again. It's not much you can say about movement. But I love this. It's a cool look. That's cool too. Look at that. Neat. Here's a neat design there. Is that the same shape? We got hit. Cool. This was funny too. Look at that. That's some crazy nice detail there on the skin. What is this? I'm really curious to see what this is. Character on there. Look at that. What's that? You know, hands, feet holding on to it. That's from the very beginning. Yeah, I saw that. Remember that? I'm watching in a small phone screen. Oh, that is cool. Look at that. It's really neat. Neat look. Nice colors. Good example of all the different styles, right? You got that shape like this. This type of more stylized designs, proportions into 2D, kind of potential stop motion, fake, fake stop motion look. Bit more realistic here. Gotta look at those fingers. You're grouping. Got a nice overlap of heads there. It's cool though. I like all that. All the details here. It's a nice costume design. Fingers are nice. Hair is nice too. Just cool. Oh! Oh, I took it hard. That is me. Imagine. There's chocolate here. <laughs> I need my chocolate right now. Let's go back here. Messy done too, right with the silhouette there. Yeah, it's mostly images that I want to that I'm taking a look at here. There's not much you can say in terms of overall movement. It's getting so fast. It's cool though. That's when I look at just the render quality the textures and everything. That's cool. These are cute. You know what? You look at this here, and this just looks like fun. I love animating like technical, mechanical, robot -y things. It's also so much fun. Ooh. Reminds me of an actor, but I want to scour through the casting list. What was that? A little, uh, robotic. There's a nice push off tear, too. Head comes forward and then draw, pushing with this. You got your push center here with the drag the body through there i like how that body kind of stops and then arms go forward even in a short shot like this it works that's cool yeah whenever i see any type of sci-fi stuff that's cool i like this that is cool oh no where's my chocolate my chocolate somewhere what is that i didn't see this last time that's cool different style again that's cool I like it. That cracked me up because this reminds me of Captain Haddock. This is a Tintin somewhere. This could be you know, a little blonde hair, a Tintin. That's snowy back there. Haddock say, come on. Through a Molotov cocktail. <laughs> it's cool. Let's go back to this. It's neat. This gives me uh, I Am Legend vibes. Vibes. Lots of vibes. Whoa, what is that? What, alien vibes? No, I'm just thinking that there's like a second piece of teeth and something coming up. But that's an interesting design. That gives me Pan's Labyrinth vibes. Oh, see faces. There they are. 
Ooh, lots of destruction in him and all this. Oh, when I see this, I can only think of this. If it's done manually, all oh, the shape, the pushing, make sure the contact's there, no intersections. What a pain. Oh, that little creature took it hard. The plushy. Ooh, nice renders. Oh, details there. That's nice. Oh, oh, what is that? Looks like that guy from the beginning is there. Oh, what is going on? <laughs> I didn't see this. I only saw the fish. Once more. Oh, that reminds me of the slow mo guys. <laughs> Vibes. That's really cool, though. Look at this. That's what the last frame. Look at that. Holy macro. That's pretty cool. Oh, holy. Now nah, getting through really fast. Now it's just basically what do we have? Set designs, characters back to that first one. That is cool. I'm really into this. Just that type of look. Look at that. Look at the textures here. These are cool. I love my scribbles. Look at this. It means nothing. <laughs> I'm just looking at the textures and the design of this. this. is really cool. I'm very, very interested in this. Look at that. That's just a neat creature. Ooh, back into this. What is that? Also cool. What is that? That gives me uh, Star Trek Insurrection vibes. <laughs> Anybody watching is going, what is this? What is this analysis? That's their thoughts regarding my analysis. Nice. That gives me uh, Halloween vibes. <laughs> cool. Lots of neat designs. There's some really cool stuff. We're really down to what is this? One, two, three. Holy moly. Yoshi. Cool. They are having a good time there. Oh, look at that. We're back into two frames. That is cool, though. Holy macro. See, that's cool. I'm all for stylized stuff. I love all this. Love all that. That's going to be super cool. Can't wait to see this. But I have to admit, that just fascinates me. All the detail in here. Look at that. All of this. Oh, I, can't, I was going to say, let me see. Can I play this? Do we see maybe some drops going down? Nope. We're down to single almost single frames let's be the same place get some greenery there that's neat gives me some primal vibes <laughs> uh, these are cool though i love this here oh my little favorite creature again what is this that is so neat love the look oh render look at that that is cool look at those textures big fan that's neat Cool set. What is that? Two frames. We're down to two frames. We are down to two frames. Here's my little guy again with his fish. That's cute though. It's really neat. Ah, okay. Gulliver. Something, something. Massive foot. Okay. Now we're down to one frame. No, we're still down to two frames. You can see some movement in there. That gives me season one vibes. The witness. Oh, one frame? Nope, still two frames, but still lots of details. Cool. Barely see anything. Oh, that was the one, because I remember this dropping here. Let's see if I play this. Nice, look at that. Let's go back. Holy macro, look at all this. That's cool. Yeah, that's really neat. Love all that detail details in the pupil errors. Look at this. Oh, there. That change. Going into this. Nice. This looks really cool. I'm all for super stylized and photo real. Looking at what he's looking at here. Or she. This is back into that stop motion field. If you look at the mouth shapes, slightly, you know, it's very minim minimal there. I'm kind of poppy, but no much, not much is moving. And the face just gives me that stop motion feel again. I love this here though. At the end, he says, It's just what I wanted. It's probably going to be this weird dystopian thing of something, whatever you wish for, you get all the presents. It's a weird thing. Love, death, and robots. There we go. Volume two, May 14th, and volume three. Bam! Netflix once again with the goodies. And that's that. Subscribe to Netflix, subscribe to my channel too.
Yeah, lots of really cool stuff. Holy macro. Not huge, dare I say, in animation analysis, but I want to take a look at it. And if anybody has fun watching these. Well, I hope you had fun watching that. I have to go back to this guy. This guy corrects me up. Ooh, look at that. That little moving out this way. Bloop, and then down. I love all this. That's the funny thing. I would love to animate this, and I would love to animate that. So much fun. Lots of really cool stuff there. So totally different styles all around. That's going to be exciting. You see how far they push this. Blade Runner stuff. 2D. Lots of crazy environments, crazy textures. Yeah, lots of really, really neat stuff. All right. Well, to whoever worked on all of this, thank you so much. I am very pumped. I can't wait. Lots of different shorts to look forward to. Well, that is that for me. I say thank you. If anybody watched this and uh, less of an analysis, more of a vibes uh, analysis. Uh, thank you for watching. And uh, hopefully I'll see you in my next upload.